Hello taxidermists and gentle peeps. Today we are taking a look at some models from um, 3D Fortress. So you may have noticed on our website there's been a lot of new buildings, models and miniatures come from uh, the company 3D Fortress. Um, we gained a license quite a while ago uh, to be able to um, retail um, the STLs and printed models of these uh, buildings and such. Um, now, one of the interesting things is uh, these models, while very, very pretty, um, don't really uh, originate in a state that you would consider um, to just drop on the bed and be 3D printable. So as part of the service that Digital Taxidermy uh, does, we are going through these and um, subdividing and uh, cutting up the models to make them fit for home printing using the Ender 3 as a uh, basis of um, for sizing and scaling. Um, and then uh, after processing these, we put them up on our website in uh, parts of our value bundles uh, for you guys, where you'll be able to get a whole heap of uh, really detailed and interesting models uh, for not a whole heap of cash. So uh, without further ado, um, this is uh, how we go about taking a base model and uh, modifying it so that you can print it at home without any major problems. Uh, you may hear another voice in the background. Uh, that there is Deegans. He has just uh, joined us from America and will be taking over preparing these files for 3D printing as well as running um, our eBay store in America. So you will be able to purchase 3D printed models uh, for local uh, delivery in the North American continent slash states slash whatever it is you want to call yourselves. Right. So here we go. We've got ourselves an interesting little building here. Um, looks pretty cool. There's some statues in there. It's very detailed um, and not really printable. If we select it, we see we can't ungroup it. So uh, it's all there's lots of lots of parts in there. Um, this roof wouldn't be able to print without supports. Uh, so that's an issue. We need to bring that down onto the print bed. Um, and obviously you've got these figures here as well, which if we zoom in on them, um, like for the most part, they're okay. Uh, but this arm is going to have issues. Obviously the chins are going to have issues. Um, what we'll probably do as well is separate these out so that they can be printed separately, or you can choose to leave them open. Um, you see you've got an overhang here, which either you would then use tree supports for, um, or we can remove that overhang, uh, or we can do something else with it. So uh, there's, there's a few things that we've got to do here. Um, so this is how we go about it. First of all, we need to make a decision on scaling. So with the Ender 3 being our target, um, we know that it has a 220 by 220 print bed. However, um, a lot of people in their general settings uh, still uh, are limited to 210. So we try and keep it below 210 and ideally below 200 for the maximum print size. So um, how are we going to do that? Well, we've got two options here. This is at 219, so we can either just reduce that. Let's let's go down to 205. So it's a little bit over our, our ideal. Um, but, um, you know, it, it will fit. So that's, that could be fine. We're just going to check it for scaling. So uh, we'll put a cube in there. Um, now, 
28 mil miniature. Uh, usually we're using things like doorways um, for scaling information um, and a doorway at uh 150 scale is 40 millimeters uh so i tend to scale it down to 38 mil in height um and then we can use that cube to check out uh the height of the doorways and see and, and we get a consistency throughout all the models now these are very narrow doorways um it would probably be good to have them a bit wider um because if we take a take a little look here um we've got what uh, approximately approximately 18 mil wide which is a bit small for a base however you're probably not going to have dudes in there like uh, in that little corridor um potentially we might be able to make that a bit bigger without messing up the model but we'll we'll see we'll, we'll come back to that but the height on that archway is quite good so in actual fact we can set this up so that that will print on an ender 3 quite happily um so we will run with that step one we're going to deal with this roof so split by the way say hi deegans hello there you go he is there two uh we get to this split point and the the key with this is to uh make sure that your top section that you're removing is going to have a nice flat and contact with the build plate so you find the point at which the um two items um overlap in fact forget that i'm getting ahead of myself here so there's two things that we do first of all uh so first thing is we simplify it because the file size on these is absolutely ridiculous um so uh we use the magic power of 3d builder to simplify it and make it uh a lot more manageable um, speeds up the processes that you can do on the computer um, and also reduces the size for downloading print calculations etc etc and then we save as so we go to save as we're going to go to the new products and we go to the uh, 3D Fortress Pass Kickstarters, which is where it is, and then it's Greek architecture, and it this one is in here, and here, and we create a new work files folder. So then we're going to give this a name, so DT ancient greece and what should we call this um a uh, what should we call this deegans give know, it a name uh, 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 i don't know what these were called uh, uh pergola uh, atrium atrium maybe? we'll call it an atrium there we go whether it is or not that's that's what we're calling it so this is this is the greek atrium so okay so we save that out so we've now got some work files to uh be working with um so now we split you were right on according to google it is an atrium new being builder would be coming handy one day interestingly enough despite so you can see in here these columns protrude into there and there's lots of individual pieces in here so before we split we're actually going to merge this 
because we can't break it into individual pieces in here it won't ungroup so um we might as well merge it and merging it will turn it into a um a single body object so uh what that means is one piece no internal geometry at all um which you know is what you need for 3d printing anyway so we let that process, 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 process. So in a file like, file this, like this, that is, that not, is not, obviously, obviously not, not merged previously because you have Pieces, pieces protruding, protruding into, other, into pieces. other pieces. Why would it mm. not be separate, separate pieces? pieces? Don't know. Um, 3D Builder is funny. Sometimes you can ungroup stuff. Sometimes you can't. Um, now, chances are, if you took it into something like Blender or some other programs, uh, you would actually be able to pull the pieces apart and uh, do some stuff with it as long as it's not got the information that they're merged which as you can see here you have vertices not touching vertices so um they're, they're not actually merged so you know you could you could probably pull it apart you could manipulate the size of this ring that goes around here and, you know there's there's probably other things that you can do with it but um that's that's not what we're doing here um i mean for me blender is blender is a mystery so um i process these in a much more simplistic way um but it gets the job done uh, and it gets it, it it gets the models out there much more printable than they are at the moment without uh compromising on um the original intention of the model With, with the, the top, surface top surface of this model being, being completely flat, flat, or at least it appears to be, mm -hmm. is, the, is plan the plan to, to like how much, how much, how much of the center, center of the structure can you cut, can you cut off, off and just, and flip, just it flip it over and turn it upside down? down? Or do you, I mean, or do you, you not want to? You could print the whole thing. You could, you could print um, this top piece upside down, no problems. It looks like you like could, you could cut, cut uh, uh, the brick, the brick trim that runs, that runs all the way around the perimeter, perimeter on the inside. inside. It looks like yeah, I mean, really so so there. if you if you look here, you've got this big overhang again. Um, so um, because of that, you would find that uh, that would need supports to print correctly. So either we've got to add something, we're going to chop it off anyway. So um, we're we're going to chop it off. Um, but you do, you have this lip here, um, and that lip uh, would need supports. So flipping it over is a very good idea, uh, anyway. So um, now we've merged it. So you would cut it right above. I don't I don't know what that would do that for model quality, model quality as far as, far as columns, the columns go. go. You'd have a seam in the middle of all the columns. The columns. Hmm? If you cut no, it lower than that, I mean. No, no, you won't. No, you, no, you won't. Trust me. So um, we find the we find the point where it splits here, and you see as we go up and above it, it moves it by 0 0.1 millimeters. So that's its its biggest. Uh, that that's at the highest point. This is at its lower point, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the higher point. And we're just going to bring it all the way back to 0.6 and see. Okay, so uh, five seven, okay, five eight, okay, five nine, five, eight, five seven. Okay, so <clears throat> at five seven, we've got a couple of these little bits that are there. So, uh, but the rest of it is going to be flat as a pancake so we will split it there 
uh, and it will probably say that we need to repair. So uh, we're going to do that. We lift that up. OK, so we've removed that. Now we're going to take care of these little bits here before we repair in case that does something funny to the model. Right. So we come back up to the top. We're going to keep the bottom section and then we will just take off a little piece. So let's take off like five mil. Uh, 0.05 and see what that does so that seems to get rid of all of those straggly ends okay so we we'll split that okay there we go now we can do the repair <clears throat> So um, we'll let that repair. So this is going to print on the top side here. Uh, so we don't necessarily need to worry about how exactly flat this bit is. Some, some buildings uh, where you're going to cut the sections, <coughs> it will print in the same direction that you've cut it. So you want this to be as flat as possible. Uh, other things that you can do with this is drop it to the build plate and use extrude down to make sure um, it pulls all of the bottom detail down to the build plate, creates a nice flat base on it. Um, other times you really don't need to, so. The plan, the plan is, the plan is, is to, to take this top, top section and flip it over to the upside, upside down, correct? Yep. Yep, yep. That's going is to... There, is, there, is there a is reason, there a reason why you wouldn't grab some more of the model to print with it? So we're going to take... So, um, I mean, because uh, this is going to print on the bottom of the bill plate anyway, so we might as well leave the columns attached to it. Um, and uh, the, we're also going to make sure that this uh, sits on the build plate as well. So um, there's there's no real point having this wall attached to it as well. So um, you know you you can do there's there's lots of options available to you here. This is just the process that you, that I. This is this is the way I would do it, and as I'm doing it, that's the way we're doing it. <laughs> um, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a cookie cutter for this. So uh, we want to set it to 0.01 thick because we want it super thin, right? So this is what we're going to use to get um, to break this apart, um, rather than using split because we don't want to take those columns off. Right, so um, let's just create a copy of that. Right, and then we will uh, pull those down. Smaller, smaller, smaller. We'll put that to five mil thick, and we will. This position in so that it's about right. Make sure that the columns get covered by this so that what we do doesn't interfere with them. So that's cool. We like that. And we're going to bring that back up now to our cookie cutter. Bring that down through there and we will subtract okay then we're going to simplify that circle to reduce the number of vertices um, and bring it down yeah 
So now we can take that and bring it up to there. Got a beveled edge on that, that piece. But let's see what's going on here. Yeah, this is uh, this is one of the interesting things that you find with uh, these models is sometimes they are doing some weird things. So you have to kind of make a compromise between perfection and not perfection. So we want a nice edge on there. Um, What we can't do with this, um, because we have the columns there, um, is to remove too much of this, because otherwise the columns will sit higher than this when we um, put it back on. See, um, although we could always stretch this out a little bit. So in actual fact, if we well, if you remove, change if you remove the, the material, material, material from the walls, you could just, could just split, split down the top of the column and match it. Uh, well, we're going to do something else. We're going to do something else. So um, if we go to 0 0.05 instead of 0.1, I mean, this is still now very small stuff because uh, the layer height on your print is 0 0.2 anyway, right? Try and line this up. So it's not flat from one side to the other. No, it certainly is not. Get on the square. Um, so. Level there. So what we're going to do zero point four mil, right? That will let us uh, get rid of that entirely. That will take. That will allow us to make a cut which trims that flat, uh, and we can check that on the X ray there. So that just about covers there, goes all the way around there. That side there. So we'll just raise that up. So that should do us, right? So we know that this is um, 0 0.04 thick, right? So what we're going to do here is edit, subtract. Okay, so that will subtract that from there. Let's process that. So now we have this 
and we've got this rather unsightly gap. Now, interestingly enough, we've got a couple of little knots in there, which is something that we don't want. So in actual fact, we're going to address that now before we get too far. So we're going to go back. We will go. We'll raise it up a bit more. Try again. Okay, back again. Let's process that. Still a couple of knots there. Well, we will just take a little look around here. So it's not too bad. Doesn't look as bad as it was before. So um, what we'll do <clears throat> is we've got that gap. We want to eliminate that gap. So uh, all we're going to do is use the scaling tool to just stretch it down just a touch to close up that gap. Ah, so you don't have to trim anything. That makes sense. Then that brings them right together, which by the time the the distance that we're talking about there, um, it's not going to be an issue at all. So uh, just to try and get rid of those knots before they become a problem, um, we are going to just split. It will repair. Okay be not free when you split that without, without merging those two pieces, two pieces together, together do you now have a third piece in there, in there? what no because i uh selected uh keep top Oh, gotcha. oh gotcha. You, gotcha. Only, you split only split the top. top. I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you you've got three options. You've got keep both split, keep top, or keep bottom. Okay, so now that's been split into three pieces. So we've got the the top, the middle, and the bottom piece. Okay. So uh, what we've got in here as well is these statues. Now we probably want to remove those statues so that they can be printed separately with um, some tree supports uh, or you can do them on a resin printer or whatever really. Uh, it will be wide open to you. So what we're going to do is cut them out of the base so in order to do that we're going to make another cookie cutter um so let's grab a cube and bring it down so we have done a large range of the 3d fortress building so far uh we've got uh what we got napoleonic era um working on the pirate island we've got aztecs wild west uh, well i don't know you name it there's 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 a ton of them on there now um they've all been processed um made ready uh for a more friendly 3D printing experience. So I'll line that up a little bit. Okay, so this is going to form the basis of our cookie cutter. Okay, uh, it doesn't need to be that tall. So we'll just shrink that down. 
Okay, now we've got it in position. We want to keep that, so we'll move it down rather than to the side. Control C, Control V, pull that into there. <clears throat> and then we are going to shrink it down just a little bit. So that gives you a little bit of tolerance. X ray it. You can see that it's sat right on the bottom there. So, what we're going to do is just move it up one, edit, subtract. Okay. And what that leaves us with now is a box. So, we'll lift that box up to there. Sure that that's disappeared through the surface uh, and we want another one of those for that lady over there and we might want a spare one so we'll just uh, throw one off to the side there for a second um, so rotate that around so that it fits where she is so we've got that positioned uh, Double check this one. Yep, that's all in position. <coughs> so we do that. Edit, subtract. Plop. She is now free. Subtract. So sometimes what you'll find if it starts taking a little while to compute things um, is that you might be in a position like here, it's very tight on some of those vertices. So maybe we want to cancel that operation um, and just move this slightly. Um, and once the, uh, you might find that the operation will, and will go a lot smoother um if it is just moved a touch so do that. try it again so edit subtract much quicker there you go so that's that's a much better cut okay so she's now free um <clears throat> the next thing is these trees here so um maybe um you might not want to have these trees as part of the um as part of the model uh you might choose to keep them out so that people can walk through or, or keep any number of them out so that people can walk through um that gap so uh, for this one again because we don't want to use split necessarily because that will take all of that detail so we're just going to change the height of that cube to 0 0.01 which is you know fractional of anything um, and we will resize that so we get ourselves a very small slicing plane that line it up that should say so should snap to the surface adjust here what do we got that was a little bit high a little bit low sorry uh, flat, flat. Yeah. we may find if we actually 
split on the bottom. Okay. And then the bottom is bottom seems to be flat. So yeah, it's uh it's because of their texturing um that they have done. So let's just uh see what happens when we subtract here so we'll just copy that for the moment what does it do so that actually dips below the line there so um that a little bit thicker why is that Give yourself a little bit more. It's a bit interesting, doesn't it? That is going to show up. Hmm. Let's have a look. So all these decisions of ways to do these um, are done on a case by case basis, right? So uh, depends on the model specifically, uh, which way you want to go about cleaning it up and getting it ready. Um, now, these bits would actually probably print okay um, on there without any supports anyway um, but the opportunity to remove them is probably quite handy oh it makes the piece, makes the piece more versatile, versatile depending on what it certainly does certainly does so um So we can actually fix all this then. so we can subtract that from there that gives us that separately okay and we're going to take this yeah so what we'll do is we'll come back and we'll fix this It'll be the easiest way to do these Well, 
the way I've thought about fixing this, uh, we actually cut more out of the base, but but we're here now, so sometimes turning back is not an option. Only ever go forwards. So, because this is not actually textured in inverted commas, um, <clears throat> it just has some ridges. Um, it is not like the, it is not like it's um, going to, it hasn't got like a cobble or, you know, stone or, or specific detail on there. Um, so what we'll do is get this last one. The last one, which was the first one. Okay, there we go. So now these are all separated out. So we've got that. So what we have here is you can see some very small blemishes on there, right? Um, so what I'm going to do is fix that by inserting a cylinder. So bring it down in size. Split it. That side. Split it there. Then. Yeah. Down into the model. There we go. So then that repairs that, brings it back to a level. We can group that um, and then in a bit we will merge it out. And in fact, you'll probably find that when that um, is exported, uh, to an STL when you open it up in, as an STL, it will be merged already. So in effect, those are our key parts. That's that's what we're going to split it into. Um, so the next thing is uh, making sure that we have some fasteners um, so that the uh, to just locate the pieces. And you know, if it was a building, uh, the building would have a roof so you can remove it with this particular one it might just be to locate it so you can glue it together um, however having this removable would be quite handy because it will mean that you can obviously take it off should you require it um, before doing other things so we go to our assets that we have made before and we take some one of these which is a lid peg and you'll find these on most of our models that get split up into pieces um, and we will position it like so copy that drop another one over here 
Plus a then drop them up yeah like so. Okay, so now we can take these, which are the holes, put them right, drag them down, do the same with these ones. So this just makes sure that the depth is set correctly. Uh, so that everything is in line, um, uh, the right depths relative to each other. Okay, so we group, uh, we subtract, <coughs> and we subtract. Like that. So I crunched it out. So now we will group these. Uh, we'll group that. And that is basically that one done. So now we'll save the work file. <laughs> Some of these buildings are a lot more complex than others. Um, this one was a fairly simple one. Um, and some of them, well, <laughs> there's some that have taken days. It, it really does depend on the complexity, shape, type, and style of the model. Um, if you're interested in seeing more of these done, uh, drop me a note in the comments. Uh, we can always look at doing some more to show you what's up uh, also if you want to know more about 3d builder which is the program that i'm using here um, check our youtube channel uh, because there is a lot of tutorials on 3d builder uh, and its functions and just why it's so good um, so what we're do, going to do here is just make sure that everything is flat on the bottom, right? So uh, we, first of all, we will split keep top. Okay, so we're just going to take out some of the odd ridges here um, because there, there are some. Uh, so if we go to point two there let's see what happens yep so we'll do that it's splitting, it's splitting it more effective, effective than extruding it down to well so if we uh go to settle it and it's got odd ridges um then it won't settle flat gotcha. yeah so, so, so extruding so, would be doing damage yeah, kind of. So what we what we do now is we set all that. So now we know because this was done geometrically split that way and geometrically split that way. We've got a, a, a parallel flat on the top and the bottom. Yeah. Uh, so now now we set all that on the build plate, right? Um, and we can raise it up by. Um, Let's raise it up by 0.8 of a mil, right? So we're going to go to 0.3. Okay. Now we're going to extrude it down. Um, so we'll go like that. That'll get us a flat. And you'll notice that the mesh will be quite messy uh, when we do this. So then we're going to do a small split on top of that as well. 
um, just to finish it off and make a consistent mesh. Seems a bit backwards to do that many different steps to effectively do the same thing. Um, oh, we do, we just test it out. I mean, it might end up being that we just split off a bit more instead. We'll just check it out, see what happens. Yeah, man. So we're back. Uh, the mesh isn't terrible there, but we could definitely tidy it up a little bit. So um, we can split that, which, you know, effectively is just going to with off. Just finding that right point. So it's at there. Because the thing is, is that top surface there didn't have any texture on it anyway. Um, again, you're not missing brick texture. There was just a couple of little lumps, which will just, you know, I mean, it's, it's not going to show up particularly well when it gets printed anyway. Um, so what you can do with this, uh, obviously, is it gets printed, uh, that'll be nice and flat or it'll have whatever texture on the build plate that you have, which, you know, might then look like stone anyway. Um, but you could then use like flock or paint some texture on there um, or add whatever it is you want afterwards while you're uh, finishing this model for your gaming table. Um, You've got a nice flat base there to put whatever you like on it. So while this is processing, we're just uh, taking an opportunity to look at the model. Now, um, an interesting thing that can happen as you process and process and process models in 3D Builder is it forms what I like to term as knots. Now, these knots are where you get unsol unsolvable clumps of vertices. Um, and sometimes it causes um, 3D Builder to hang and not do things. So you can see these quite, uh, you can pick these up using X-ray view. Okay, now where these white spots are, are areas with high concentrations of vertices. So uh, if we zoom in on one of these, <coughs> you see here is where it's tried to solve a uh, series of vertices that it just can't work out. Now, um, they don't really show up like that in an actual print. Um, and uh, sometimes as you're going through some of these uh, really intricate buildings, they will turn up. Um, and what can happen is that it will stop 
3D Builder from doing certain processes. Um, so uh, if you ever get stuck and it can't repair, can't fix, can't subtract or whatever, uh, it might very well be that you have a knot in the um, item that you are trying to process. Like at the moment, it seems to be hanging very much on repairing this. So we might have a, a bit of an issue here. So uh, I might roll it back and take a different tack on this one. So we're just going to stop that and we'll be back once it's Okay, so we're we're back to where we were, uh, and what we're going to do is go back to before we did all of that, and we're not going to mess around. We're just going to split the top because it's just forming knots. Now, interestingly enough, even though we merged on step one, you can see inside here there's an internal face um around here so i don't think that is actually attached to there correctly um you can see there's a a thing in there already so um before we do that we are going to do something about that so let's insert a cylinder um, and we'll make ourselves an infill block for that. Tap that in there. So C can fill V. Bring that back to there. See, we need to cut this hole out. So, that from there we've got ourselves an infill block so now do that let's just take a look from the outside make sure that none of that is sticking through Yes. All the way back to there. That'll be why. Or not in here. So that's the problem. So we get that, we get that, we group that. Let's just merge it. Let's see what happens. Okay, um, 
Just check it again for knots, see if that's got worse or thing. Put a little one there. Good, and you can see the internal space is a lot cleaner now. So um, now if we go edit split. Split. Okay, there we go. So that is that I'm done. done. So our final steps is saving this out so it's ready to go. <coughs> so save as go folder for STLs oh. that's wrong for starters so. get rid of what we don't need Save it out as top TL. That's the, uh, the uh, first floor, floor right? right? That's the top, because there is only one floor. There is only a <laughs> ground floor. <laughs> You know, so there is an option of uh you could actually take those columns out now if you take those columns out then it means that there is less retractions uh on this particular model uh i'm taking the option of leaving them in um, because of more general stability anyway um but the these are the options and the choices that you make as you go and you can assess them whenever you're doing uh whenever you're trying to adapt any models for 3d printing zero The reason that we're saving out multiples of what is effectively the same thing and not just doing one and saying to print it times two is because where we've cut them out of the base they will have a specific fit so uh, we want to make sure that you have the right pieces um, with the plants because they sit on top of the base uh, then we can just do and they're all exactly the same uh, we can do plants times six then you can just affix them 
should you wish, wherever you want. I'll rename that plants times five then. Um, so that is that model done. So we can uh, discard that scene now and we can go to the folder where it was and the final steps are there's the folder I've lost it now So we open them all up. And we get the final steps ready for print. So this is going to print upside down. So we'll orient it. Just make sure that it is flat on the build plate. And save that out. Then we'll bring each of these in check that they need a repair or not and we will save them out this is just making sure that everything is correct and in a condition to go out to the customer Merge those bits. Now, once we've done these merges to get these pieces in there, we will also reopen these to double check, make sure they don't need a repair. Sometimes, when you do merging and subtracting, um, the 3D Builder needs to repair the object. Well, that is the pirate ship we're working on. excited about that one looks really cool it's a pain but it should be ready soon and pirate island will be hitting the store <laughs> that ship is ship part of pirate island certainly is Okay, um, so that is now merged. Thing. Nearly there, folks. It's still merging. So that is saved as well. So 
that was the base and the middle so we'll reopen reopen the base okay that's all good and reopen the middle that's all good so final step is we take all of those items and we package that up to the zip file take that as a name go get rid of the original stuff which is now just clutter and label it for our archives and that is another one ready to go out so we've got a lot more models to process in this set um, and uh, they will be ready to go out soon uh, and hopefully uh, Deegan's there will be able to crack through them and uh, we'll have some ready for you in no time Okay, take care. Nice. Well, they're taxidermists and gentle people. Take care, have fun, and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye bye. Like the video, follow me around. Press the bell, it makes no sound. Like the video, press subscribe. I don't know why I am alive.